Um, do you want just to break off all and just reach out? To... You can, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, I do it most days anyway. So the way I go about it anyway is I start on the weekly. I don't actually start on the daily as you do. Um, I just like to go from the forward side. Um, front side weekly. Yep. Level there. Weekly front side. There isn't, I don't have a front side, but there is a weekly back side there that is uh, one of those moments of polarity, as you call them. Um, I keep calling those things uh, moment, pivot moments. Mm -hmm. Yep, the good old pivots. <laughs> in, in my head. Yeah. <laughs> pivot, pivot, pivot. Right. Uh, on the weekly, that's all I see at the moment. Okay. No, that's that's perfect. That's good. I mean, you have another weekly in between there, but you're you're pretty far off of there. So, anyways, to 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 go and get that other weekly right now kind of just seems silly. So down to my daily, I would probably mark that, but that's probably a four hourly. But I'll mark it as a daily front side. Uh, da, 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 daily front side. Um, there's nothing else happening there, but I would be drawing some trends here. Uh, and by the way, this is BTC USDT power. Yeah, but that's perf yeah perfect. Perfect perpetual contracts. Yeah, yeah, because it's what I'm tra trading, I guess. Uh, so I put a daily, uh, which is kind of like a, a legacy, because there's one coming off of that, I believe. There's probably a couple actually. I don't know. There you go. Okay, so it's coming up to that. Yep. Um, Right, and I would probably mark the daily there as well. I think it's still relevant. Um, you know, it's, it hasn't been broken. So, you know, I'm kind of... <clears throat> okay, my thought process here is one or two things. The trend will hold or it is walking its way up towards it. It might just go after that weekly again. But I'll have to do a bit more, uh, a bit more charting here. So I think there's some pretty, uh, imp uh, pretty, something pretty important here to say. I think this is good to start by seeing ranges. So, so like, I think this is, would be how I would start a chart. Like what you just did, I wouldn't leave it like that. So, so I'll, I'll, you know, flat out say these are, these can't be your final levels, but what they can be, which is good is, is the start of a range. So you've kind of identified this narrowing of a range right now. Yeah. This is the kind of moment where you'd be like, okay, this is nice. This is what it looks like on the daily. So like I've, I've got, I've got a, kind of a clear picture of what's going on but that this can't be kind of the uh levels you make decisions on this has to be like oh yes this is this is a good start but there's there's something a lot deeper here so, so these levels need to be adjusted inside of their range and i think you did make one mistake here and i don't okay. necessarily know if it's a mistake yet but but i think like I, I look at this level here that you marked and i would say okay kind of the problem here is like the range will actually start here. And then we're getting a little more advanced now. So, so you know, we can, we can talk about a little bit more of these advanced things. So, so the range would actually start here because I, I, can, I can already see what these two candles right here. There's some kind of backside valley. So, so actually what I, what I see is like a, kind of a splitting of this range. Like, oh, look, this backside has already been tested. So I know that this kind of has to be put, you know, between this candle, oh, sorry, not that candle, between this candle here and this candle here is the real hold level. This kind of already represents the backside and down in here somewhere will be the front side because, you know, that, that's kind of the mistake that a lot of people make is they, they go to the big time frames and they say, oh, you know, this is great. These are strong levels and indeed they are, but they're, they're also just the starting of a range. The same thing happening on the top. You can say, oh, okay, well, this was already tested here, but this represents the backside and the front side will be somewhere. It will max out here. So, so actually we need to find the whole level in here. And here, because those are like the true levels that we will go after. So, so like I think this is really good to do this to, to, to start the definition. You see what I mean? Okay. Yes, yes, I do. So, well, I'll tell you what. Let me take that out there because I will leave it. I, I well, it. it's it, I kind of think it's more like on a four-hour level because it's just one candle to one candle. I generally wouldn't do that. Yeah, but it, but it, but by leaving it, it gives you a good spot to know where to look forward. Well, that's true too. Yep. You know what I mean? Because like, um, you already know yeah. that what you said, it's our four hour. We already know there's going to be a four hour in there. But this at least lets you say, oh, okay, we can look forward. And, and even then you could even mark. I don't think you have to mark the bottom of this candle because visually you're going to see it anyway. If you were fresher to this idea of ranges, you'd mark this and you'd mark this. And then you try to find the levels in between there. You see what I mean? But, but you're, you're yes. fine because we can visually, we, as long as you remember that this is somewhere forward from, from this level, you're going to have the lick. 
of the move. So, so, so you're not looking backwards for the leg, you're looking forwards. That, that's all you need to kind of yes, know yes, about yes, that. Yes, it's yes. just like kind of like a quick assessment. Oh, look forward to find the leg, not backwards. I gotcha, yeah. yeah. I, and I use weekly and daily to, to give me a meta view and I just say, right, and I like a thing, I don't put any smaller time frames on it at this point and I say, right, well, at one, at one way it's going after the top of this value here. Um, and you know this is protecting it but not very well at the moment <laughs> you know and as you just pointed out down here if it were to reverse it'd be going after this as a, as a target eventually mm -hmm. well, i mean yeah. even right now like you're hitting a trend so it's almost too bad we're not trading right now because it kind of clearly looks like well what does it look clearly like to you because to me this is one of these uh polarized moments either trend is going to hold or it's going to be broken uh yeah it looks like it's going to um like we, we can't see if trend is going to be broken yet but for now it looks like it's rejecting like it, yeah. it's, well, it's hitting trend for the first time in in weeks so it's like almost a yeah. perfect shorting opportunity the, the re well the reason i ask you is because i entered a short 10 minutes ago at 7 to 30. yeah that's great i would uh you know monitor it and keep it open what i would do now then is i would just define yes, where, where was your level that's what I would say. Seven two thirty twenty five. I shorted. Let me. Yeah. Well, yeah, ma'am, yeah. ma'am, yeah. ma ma it was on. It was on four hour. Let me get to the four hour and I'll show you because I've, I've removed my levels. <laughs> so here we go. Let me see. Yeah, it was this one here, which is a four hour front side. Yeah. Seventy two thirty nine. Okay. And um, but I also had. Four, 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 front side. Um, I think, I think I had a four-hour downtrend drawn off the legacy daily, not this daily. So it's even stronger for me that it's a daily trend. I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think that, 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 that was that was my rationale off that hold, and a yeah. trend was coming out as well. So I think there is uh, one thing you could have done better here, which is define your range more. So like if you go back to the daily. Just, just speak on that a little bit, the range, will you? Is that, is that, is a range, is that, is like a, a we say a one hour range is a, a daily candle. You know, it's, a, it's 24 hourly candles inside. Is that what you mean by a range? Mm, or is it, no, is it so. on a time frame what's been attacked? So, so you have, for example, you have the, the leg of the move here. You have the ladder here that's happening. So, so as long as you don't go attack the leg, right? Like as long as you don't go attack the leg of this move, you're technically still creating a ladder. Like you got ladder here, ladder here, ladder yes. here, ladder here. So you're just laddering down, right? So, so like you're kind of still looking to set up distribution here. So, so if that's true, we know we kind of can't go over this moment and this is the break level. So, so like what I would do here is I would mark the top of this here like that. Mm -hmm. So put a level as on the top, the top of, of your range. Yeah, that would kind of be the top of the range. So, so any hold level. So now I would look for the hold levels that make sense underneath that. So if you go in here. Yes, yes, yes. Just let me make sure I get this here while I'm at it. That's a daily backside. Really. I, call, I call my break levels backside as well, by the way. Yeah, that's okay. So, so like, you know, that's the top. So I'd be finding the greedier levels inside of this. So I could just straight go to the, the one hour now. I don't think this is enough candles to see a four hour, but um, it's possible. And I would go back to that moment. All right, let's have a look. And uh, so, so, so you kind of have, let's go to the, uh, yeah, you have the hold level here. You see, you have, you have your hold level marked at 7236, but there is a greedier hold level and it exists somewhere inside of here, right? Like the, this is the well, back that's side. Certainly, that's certainly the one hour there, isn't it? Yeah, it's the one hour there. But you there's can, probably a 15 minute or five here, is it? You, yeah, you're looking inside of there to see where the front side hold is, right? Like the greediest level that's possible. Yeah, see to see if you could have gotten a better entry here because I you know you, you're just as long as you ladder down that's fine yeah so then you could have marked this right here or oh sorry 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 yeah I, I was I was watching over here idiot nope nope you what, could what, be marking, what's above uh, yeah this one this so I could have had, kind of, like you can yeah, see there. yeah so so what that i want you to one. do here is i want you to 
a 15 minute. Yeah. So what I want you to do here is to take your eyes to here and look at this. This is like, okay, look, you had a ladder right here, which you hit. So you're laddering down off that. Your next ladder would have been this right here, right? So you're laddering down off that. Your next ladder would have been this level right here. So you're, you're laddering down off that. Your level would have been, so you're laddering down off that, right? So, so your next point is kind of like either So kind of your next point, you'd want to be looking in this range right here. Because you see, you already, this guy here already tested this ladder here. So, so almost you want to mark two levels here. You actually want to take this and put it here and there. And those would be like the two correct levels that would be what you would look for entry on. So you Let me ask you, you know, this, this, this is a 4 hour. Would you actually yep. lift the 4 hour and put it Well, there? if I'm looking for best entry, put it, put it right here on that green one. No, you already have yep. a level there. So we want to see front side, back side of the move here. So now I would go and look at this because technically this is like the next ladder. Look, you laddered this, you laddered this, you laddered this, you laddered this. So it's like stepping down, right? One, two, yes. three. Yeah. For, and as long as it hits this, it's still laddering down, right? And what does that look like? It's a trend, right? So, so that, that, those are the two levels I would look for entry. So I think your 7230 is a bit light. Now, I would probably go here and find the five and the three minute values if I wanted extreme accuracy. Like, I don't necessarily know if this is going to go after, get, get attacked. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Let me take a second. Um, I would go to like the five minute charts here and see, like, is there like a defining valley that kind of is super obvious and it's like oh wow this is really obvious that that is the moment so you know you're going to want to look in there for kind of that strong that's level. funny like you you say that word uh, really obvious why do you say obvious because the big money guys are going to go for that um like here for example you can see it's like oh look at how big this oh sorry look at it's, it's, it's like look at how big this valley is this valley is pretty much the greediest valley that still ladders this move because again this is laddering here this was ladder yeah. from the past. This moment here would be like the big valley. And this would be like the extreme level. If you wanted to get super greedy, I don't even know if it goes after this level, but if it were to, it would be one of those two levels like that, that, that super greedy moment. Right. So, so, but at, at, at a minimum we can say, okay, look, this is a huge valley that's holding this move down. So that means that right. you can even actually ladder off of this one here. So I would actually mark this one as I would move this to here because this seems a little too greedy although it might get hit i would move that to there yep and i think that's your range because the, the and the way i'm seeing that is like look the, this grouping of candles hit an inverse above this inverse held those so again it's like a ladder ladder so so now if that's true and this is the moment that laddered last we need to see where we can ladder below this and kind of above this. So this is all a part of range finding, right? So, so we, we right, just, just do that. Just do that again below that and above what below this and kind of above that four hour, you had some kind of four yes, hour yes, hold yes, level yes. down here, right? The kind of the obvious level that everybody's going to trade, right? Like kind of like, Oh, this is pretty obvious, right? So, so you'd be like this. So then you have like a very clear Valley here, backside, five minute front side, this ladder was kind of tested already. Even here, I would say, okay, this might not be greedy enough. This looks a little smarter. You could finalize it right here. So I, I might mark that level back right here. Because if we push up again, I would say, okay, if it goes after the greedy level, it'll go there. So I'd keep, no, I'd keep that one there. I'd keep that one there. You'd leave him there. You, be, because this little section has already laddered here. So this is a little more advanced. I don't want you to get too um, focused on, oh, every single level has been tested mm -hmm. because there's a point where it's like the specific level will get tested. But also, I would also mark, I think it was this candle right here we had. I would also mark that one as kind of like the... Uh, final level so I put that there just to see. And, and it's somewhere between there and this so there's like a, a three dollar spread here so so just as long as we're aware of that and this confirms the move down so so now that i've kind of done some range work here you can put this one on too if you want you can add a third level just to see how it interacted that's fine because that would be like the five minute hold level you're always looking at these trades and you're saying okay what is the greediest level where can i get best entry how can i test my accuracy what makes the most sense here you know you know what i mean like we always yeah, look at okay yeah. where's and that's and i guess that 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 becomes very important when you really want to get after 100x.
when you get want to get 100x, yeah, because you're looking at this thing and look, you, you've got this right here and this was the four-hour level. How many people entered on this four-hour level and are about to get liquidated if we go here? Doesn't mean they were wrong to say this move was going down. It just means they didn't understand how to take this trade properly. Yes, yeah. So, so now what I would do is I would go in the moment and see which one of these levels got hit because that's where I would see these levels being that's what I would target would, would be those three levels. And then I'd make my decision based on the architecture of the chart in the moment. Like I would say, okay, what's happening in the moment based on which level should I go after? Ah, so damn it. You see, I, I keep those levels off each time frame above it. So let's see how close that we got there, if we got filled or not. We would typically front run this level by a few dollars, like maybe three dollars because it's pretty greedy. The greedier well, the there, level it's there for you. It, it, it only went as high as seven, two, six, four, sixty-two. 62, say anyone 65. So go to the one minute candles here. Let's see what happened. So, so this is a level like this is the thing too about taking entry on these trades. It's like, okay, the greedier the level, the more we want to front run it a bit, right? The, the more oh, we want to take like, one. okay, if we're front running 72.50 by three or four, by, by like three or four dollars, we might want to front run 72.65 by the same, maybe increase the front run by a dollar. And then, and then, you know, as you get greedier and greedier, like 72.76, I would probably have front run that level to 72, 73 or one, one, two or yeah. three, something like that. But I, I don't think it would go over, like, I don't even know if it would touch that because again, it's a range, right? So 72, 65, I would have front run it by a few dollars and, and, and there you've got perfect entry, right? There you've got perfect entry just by a few yeah. dollars. But 72, 50 would have been kind of the minimum spot. I think I would have entered this trade, like 72, right. maybe 72, 49 and, and like 40 cents just because it's such a, big level, I think it can bleed over top of it to, to the greedier level. So I want to get filled close. So, so yeah. like the stronger the level, the closer I want to get to it. You see what I mean? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas I, 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 actually, I, I gave too, money back to the mark, too much money to the mark. You, you don't want to front run strong levels too much because if they're that strong, they're going to get hit. And sometimes they just get broken through because it doesn't mean that, it, it, let's say the 7250 here, let's say that's the four hour level. If that is indeed, and, and it's the five minute backside value, which is also pretty strong, by the way, it's still a backside within a four hour, right? So the four hour inverse still gets hit here. It's just what level inside that four hour gets hit. So technically you still, you could have shorted this on 10 X at 72.30, whatever the level was on the four hour. I think you said it was 72.30. Technically this is still accurate and correct because the four hour inverse held it down, but there's, there's a range inside that four hour inverse that you're going after, right? Like there's, there's a range that is represented in the, in the greedier levels. It doesn't mean the four hour inverse isn't holding. It just means there's a range. So you know, the, the closer you get to your stronger levels, the less you Be want greedy. to get. get. Get greedy. And the greedier the, the level is, the more you want to front run it a bit. Because you have to realize like, okay, 7230 is the four hour level. If it's going to reject that level, it's, it's going to hit that level and reject straight down. So it's going to say, okay, 7230 and it pulls straight down. So you only have to front run it by like 50 cents. But if it's going after these greedier levels, you have to realize like, okay, we have three or four greedy levels in here. We have this one, we have this one, we have this one. As long as we're getting better at <coughs> than that 7230, which is that four hour level, quote unquote. We just want to say, okay, there's three possibilities here. Which one is going to be true? So we want to kind of like maybe front run this one by like $3, front run this one by like maybe three fifty, like $3.50 on this one. And maybe even this one by $4. So you see the greedier we're getting, the more we want to front run it. Because, because right. well, it, it, it sure as hell won't go here and pull back to the dollar, it might, unless it's completely breaking over and, and getting ready to move up in a big way. But if, if that scenario happens, you definitely don't want to be entered at 7230 and you're at minus 50% profits right here true, before you have true, to make a decision, true. hey, is this thing moving down or is it about to break up in a big way? Because right. this is the way it works, right? Like we go after these levels, we go after a greedier level, we go after an even greedier level, and then we'll have a pullback. So like we Which, are, you, are you putting, uh, uh, so we have, we have three potential entries here. So I, would, you know, I, I don't know if I would say three potential entries. I would say we have, I guess it depends if you mean entries as in we could take three trades. Is that what you mean? Well, um, that, this is what I'm going to ask you is if you, if you were looking at this and you were on your own here just saying I'm going to trade here. Are you saying, right, I am going for the 72.76, greedy, 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 I'll front run it to 72.72, if I get filled, great, if I don't, I don't care. I mean, I think I'm, I'm doing it based on chart architecture, so 
I think in this moment here, what I would have done is taken that 7265 just based on the way the levels look and I would have front ran it by a few dollars. Like I would have been, right. you know, so well, you, like do, you do have a method in your brain to say which of these three is the most probabilistic. Yep, absolutely. That, that's yeah. based on chart architecture. That's based no, on- I get on, you, on I, get, I get you. That's helpful. I just want to know, yeah. yeah. So that's, so you're, you're, you're picking the one due to your experience and skill. Exactly. Be, right. Because it's like, look at we, we have a trend here, right? We have a trend here. We broke over top of the trend, right? So, so we, hit our, we hit our four hour level. We pulled back and we held its reign. So if I had taken a short on this and I saw, oh, hits a level, pulls back and starts to just creep up here, I, I would have just gotten out of the trade. Like, because quite simply, like once it breaks this, yeah. it's going to move up. Once it breaks that, it's going to move up. So then at that point, I would just get out of the trade with like a zero, maybe even a few percent profit if I'm lucky. I would have, you know, if I was really good, I would have taken the first knife catch and probably made 50% there. So, so like I would have entered the 7239 level. So I would have gone 7238 or something like that. I would have entered here. And if I was really good and, and I could have gotten out, out right here now, I probably wouldn't have sold that quick. But sometimes you guys see me trade and sell one, one minute later. But th this is the reason why, because there's more trades happening, right? Sometimes it's just a scalp. And then we break over the level and fall underneath the trend. You see how we're falling underneath the trend? At this point, I'm kind of thinking, okay, I wouldn't be looking for re-entries. I would be analyzing the chart architecture and what's happening in the moment. And I would say, okay, where is my final short going to be? So it would be a diff uh, you know, the pick picking between this level and this level here. Prior to this happening, I had pre-picked 7265, which means I would have entered at 7263. $2.50, yeah, $2 not enough. So it's $72.63. And then I would have said, okay, so $72.62.99, that's not enough. So I would have went like $72.62.49. So my final price would have been like $72.62. And then I would have said, is 49, does that make sense? Uh, maybe I want to just go like 43. So that, that kind of would have been my entry because I wouldn't want it too close to the, you know, I wouldn't want it too close to 72. 72.62.50 because it's only, it's only $3 away, but then I don't want to go all the way down to 72.62 because I might as well be at 72.61.99, which puts me at 72.61.80. So 72.62.43 is kind of like the perfect balance right there for me in, in terms of what, where I would have taken this trade. To say it, it, it suits the range of what I'm willing to go after, 72.65 is, is good. It, it allows me to not get as much liquidation if we do pull up to this 72, 76 level to see what's going to happen there. Because we, we could still bleed over top of that, go to this level. But the problem is if it goes over top of the level and then starts to hold over top of this yellow line and it goes back and tests that yellow line and holds, I would be out and I would say, okay, I, I only lose 50, roughly 15% here or maybe yeah. it's closer to 20. I'm not sure. But anyways, I only lose 15% here where I took the greediest entry before a big move up, right? Then it just allows you, me to negotiate you're, you're price. Back to, you're back to giving yourself more options. Yeah, more options, better trades. I'm not getting liquidated on levels. I'm not taking yeah. bad trades. It gave me basically the perfect entry on a trade that it's supposed to pull back, but in the case that it doesn't, I'm still protected, right? So, so I'm not really losing any money if this trade goes away. So I, I've almost entered a, a no risk scenario or a very minimal risk scenario. And uh, yeah. the, the potential I could lose versus what I could make here on the bottom side, I think the, the level is about 7,000 or, or sorry. I think the level's are around 6,800, I think. I lose 15% or I make 800% or something like that. I don't know. I, I haven't done the math, but some, something in that range, right? Like the, the losses versus the gains are, are like 30 to one, right? Yeah. So yeah. 